Hello, this is Hojun Cheng, and today uh, we're gonna talk about the um, yeah how to choose the right monitor amp and speaker. Okay, um, I'm not gonna talk about the certain brand or certain model, but um, uh, we gotta know the uh, fundamental things that um, how and um, how we're gonna choose the uh, right amount of the amp and the uh, right speakers. Okay. And the thing is, um, um, there is not enough videos or lectures to talk about this, cause um, uh, normally we just um, people just uh, recommend or review certain monitors like ADEM or Yamaha or JBL or Generic or whatever that they they, they uh, feels like to uh, review. But today, mm, let's um, mm, wrap those things. Yeah, besides, and I'm uh, just talk about the fundamental things. So, how many amp? No, how many watt do you need? And what's the dB SPL, the despair, the SPL that you need? And all of those things, right? Okay. So, um, uh, first I'm gonna talk about the um, uh, equal loudness contour. You may heard about. It's a Fletcher Munson curve. So. Uh, I'm not gonna go over with that, but I'm uh, uh, the sound engineer, the recording engineer, or mixing engineer. They all, we all know that I'm a uh, right amount of sound pressures that we need to get the uh, certain flatness, the the flat response uh, to our ears. The yeah, so it is not because of the what kind of uh, amp or speaker you have. It, it is a matter of our ear our perception our the um yeah our ability to get the uh, good um, tones right so um normally we use 85 db spare so that's 85 db that's a decibel right and spl there's a sound pressure level so it is the uh, measurement uh, unit for the whole acoustics so we use 85 dB SPL for reference level. So that range is, we know that um, um, that's about, yeah, the most flat response that you can get to fit our ears, okay? So that's the basic, the reference level that you need to do mix in the recording side or live side. And um, uh, we all know that um, we need about 20 dB for headroom so that means like uh, we're gonna we should have 105 dB SPL for peak right so that's the thing we need to know okay um, okay so I'm um, uh, that's the uh, lever that we need to have to get a good tone that we can just get a good response like a flatness the flat sound so um if there is a too much low or too much high we'll know all right so um you, you gotta understand what this whole number means because i'm uh, you, you gotta do with certain things with it right okay and so we have to now this one, all right. And the next thing we need to know is the uh, we gotta check the what kind of the SPL that speaker makes. So I'm gonna pull up. I'm, I'm gonna search. Mm, let's see. Um, the what kind of specs they can get from uh, NS10M, which was a kind of a um, basic the uh, reference right so I just searched the um, NS10MM from Google and this is the site that I found from Google it is a uh, sonic state dot com and okay below here specs frequency response 60 Hertz to 20 kilohertz power capacity 60 watts that's a program Okay, so program means like, yeah, the normal 
um, watts that speaker need for a long time and 120 watts that's a max that's a peak right so you gotta go with the uh, 60 watts for reference right and here's a uh, nominal impedance this 8 ohm okay that's one thing that we gotta know to choose the amp right that's the load to load for the uh, amp to decide how many watts they can uh, produce so it is all depends on the load, right? The, the 8 ohm or 4 ohm or 16 ohm. Okay, here, sensitivity. This is the thing that we gotta know. Uh, this speaker will make 90 dBs pair under 1 watt on 1 meter. So if you place the um, NS10M about a meter away, that's about 3 feet in US, right? So that's 1 meter. You will get 90 dBs pair for the 1 watt input. Okay, so that's one thing that you gotta know. So 90 dBs pair in 1 watt and 1 meter. The 1 watt, 1 meter is like standard uh, things for the uh, measurement. All right, so we we know that. Um, let's delete this. So NS10 M. That's okay. 90 dB. SPR 1 watt 1 meter Okay, so this is the one thing that we gotta know, right? So how many watt do we need? How many watt? How many the um, how many watt from the amp that we need to get the Reference level that's 85 dB SPR and peak was 105 dB S pair. We just talked about this, right? So we need to get 105 dB because I'm um, see sensitivity is the uh, max, the peak level. So we just um, forget this 85 and just minus 20 dB from it. Okay. So we just take this out, right? And we gotta focus on the 105 dB S pair to get the right right sound so right reference sound but there will be great for your acoustic environment in your small room or bigger like big stadium same thing okay so you're gonna go um, you're gonna uh, decide what how many amp no, no how many watt from the amp that we can get and the thing is um the 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 watt the power the wattage of the amp is already fixed by the road, right? So, if there is certain amp that has, has a um, 50 watts up from the uh, with the 8 ohm road, so that's a 50 watts. But um, uh, there is the formula that we need to know because there's a power value, right? Right, what is so we need to know how many dBs that it can get. So, that's the there's a formula that I'm, um, it's a 10 log P2, no, that's a P2, P1. Well, normally the uh, P1 value is, P1 value is this one, one watt. So you can ignore this, cause that's a one, all right? Okay, so let's put the, um, for example, um, uh, let's put like mm, 30 watt. Okay, 30 watt is you can well normally you can get the amp for 100 watt or 400 watt under uh, 8 ohm. That's a normal thing, right? But I'm a 30 watt. So let's see how we can how many dBs there we can get from 30 watt. Okay, so this case. Okay, so in this case. 10 log it'll be 30 right okay so I'm gonna bring up the uh, calculator okay so you can just type 10 times 30 log see that's a 14 dB about 15 dB, right? 
0.77 so yeah 15 db so dirty was can make this is 15 about 15 watt no 15 db right so 30 watt amp can boost 15 db up so we already have 90 db this 90 db spr and it's 10 and add this 15 that's 105 right so 105 so if you have NSTEM or similar thing that produced 90 dB SPR on the one watt one meter on one meter meter, you will only you only need 30 watt amp to get the right amount of sound pressure. Normally, like yeah, we all know that um people put the yeah, at least 50 watt or 100 watt or 400 watt, right? Even someone put the uh, Amcron, the, the class A, B, or class A kind of big heavy one to put the NS10M, and they just feel like it is more comfortable or more, yeah, better sound. But actually, now uh, they should reduce a whole lot of input attenuation to get the uh, right amount. So, no matter if you have a 300 watt amp or 50 or 100 watt amp or f yeah whatever you will only boost 30 watt you will only use 30 watt from it and the problem is we cannot adjust the wattage from the amp the knob that um, amp has the input attenuation it does not control the output output is only controlled by the um, speaker right so that's one thing that i like to talk so we gotta know how many watt that we need to get so please don't don't waste your money to get 100 or 200 watt amp to connect 60 no ns10m to operate right i hope you understand the whole process well this will you can use this formula or this way to get a good sound in your church, in your concert hall, or even your stadium to get the right amount of the sound pressure for each sitting area. Okay, so conclusion: you don't need a whole lot of amp for your control room to run the NS10M or similar small near field monitor or mid field or far field. Because um, uh, we don't need 110 dB SPR in your control room. Or we don't need 120 dB SPR peak for your um, control room. You just need 85 dB SPR. That's the most common uh, standard that I'm a studio tuned, right? The, the aligned. So I hope this helps you to choose the right M. That's the key point of the. Uh, this video clip so how to choose right monitor amp and speaker so you gotta know the uh, spec the, the sensitivity from the spec right and just um, see how many dbs pair that it can produce and we choose the right amount right wattage amp for that speaker oh, well this is the passive right so uh, if you want to choose the active so you, you don't need to go over with the uh, big heavy big wattage active speakers because we you won't need it because the uh, sweet spot that you have is about a yeah about two feet like 70 centimeter or less than one meter right less than one meter so you don't need a whole lot of power or a lot of dish berries to blow your ear save your ear that's the basic thing so I I will do the uh, fundamental series yeah so there's a, a fundamental knowledge that we gotta know all right I hope this helped you for your uh, good mixing okay thank you for watching subscribe and I'm gonna uh, there is a bunch of the uh, English speaking lectures where well, there's a whole lot of Korean speaking lectures but I'm um, uh, you will find some good good um, English speaking lectures in my YouTube subscribe it
Hmm. Yeah, press like and share it in your community. Alright, thank you. Bye. This is Hojun Cheng.